Okay, we have uh, the vector field xy squared over 1 plus x squared quantity squared in the i component, x squared y over 1 plus x squared in the j component. Is it conservative? We just have to check the fact that py, which is 2 xy all over that 1 plus x squared quantity squared and see if that's equal to qx. Now qx requires the quotient rule. You have to take the denominator and square it and then we have to take the derivative uh, we'll bring the, numer bring the denominator up to the numerator take the derivative of the numerator 2xy then we put a subtraction sign and we reverse that where we leave the numerator alone and multiply by the derivative of the denominator. Simplifying that, distributing across, what happens is we get 2xy plus 2x cubed y minus 2x cubed y all over 1 plus x squared quantity squared. So yes, PY is equal to QX. Great. So we have the answer to this question is yes. Now to go about trying to find the potential function phi, we'll do the following. We're always going to integrate p with respect to x first. Let's go ahead and do that. Now that's not going to be so easy, but it's going to require a u substitution. Okay, if we let u equal 1 plus x squared, then du is going to be equal to 2x dx. So half of du would take the place of x dx. Uh, the y squared is just a constant, so let's multiply both sides by y squared. So that numerator, xy squared dx, is going to be replaced by half of y squared du. We're integrating that whole thing over u squared, pull out the constant and call that u to the negative 2. When you integrate u to negative 2, you get u to negative 1 over negative 1 with all these constants here. Finally, we'll call it 1 times uh, oh, 1 over u. So, so y squared, uh, negative y squared over 2u. So it equals negative y squared over 2 times the quantity 1 plus x squared. Perhaps plus some function of y only. Now instead of integrating q with respect to y, we do the following. This is exactly what phi is. And so I'm going to take the derivative of that with respect to y. And what I'm going to get is minus 2y over the uh, 2, 1 plus the x squared. Um plus g prime of y. Now um, we're going to set this equal to q which is x squared y over 1 plus x squared. Usually what happens is the terms that have the x's and y's in them cancel out. It doesn't look like that but it actually happens here. These twos cancel out. So here's what we're looking at minus y over 1 plus x squared plus g prime of y 
is equal to x squared y over 1 plus x squared. Um, let's take and add that over. What this tells us is that g prime of y is x squared y plus y all over 1 plus x squared. The 2 is gone. The 2 cancel out. Yep. Yeah. All over 1 plus x squared. And if we factor out the y we'll have x squared plus 1 conveniently to cancel the 1 plus x squared. Very strange but true. So, the more the story is that g prime of y actually is just, uh, just y. So we integrate that with respect to y and we get y squared over 2 plus a constant. And so we just take that and now replace g of y with that. So the final result is that phi is minus y squared over twice 1 plus x squared plus y squared over 2 plus a constant. That was a tough one, but it worked out. Okay, great.